Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video. The series where I cover the latest streetwear releases, I cover the latest streetwear news, and of course in the series we just discuss anything to do with streetwear or fashion. Now in today's video I'm going to be covering everything to do with an upcoming collaborative release. What I'm going to be covering today is the Palace Skateboards Umbro collaboration that is going to be releasing in week seven of Palace's winter 2022 collection. Hey guys, welcome back to <laughs> the third week in a row of Palace collabs. We had, of course, Palace X Gucci, and we had the following week, Palace X Y3 or Palace X Yoji Yamamoto X Adidas. And now for week seven, we have another collaboration this time with famous UK sportswear equipment and sportswear brand Umbro. Uh, they are, it's, it's, it's a pretty nostalgic and a pretty crazy collab that we're getting this week because this brand was the first official collaboration with Palace over 10 years ago. And I mean, it might not have been the first ever collab or it was at least the first official one because I mean, I don't know if you go like, this is the case with a lot of streetwear brands. A lot of them buy silhouettes from other brands and do unofficial collabs when they first start up. So I don't want to go out on a limb and say this is Palace's first ever collab or the brand that they did their first ever collab with because they may have, you know, pulled a Supreme and copied some designs or pulled a Stussy and stole some Carhartt jackets and tweaked them a little bit. <laughs> uh, which, you know, you know, that, the streetwear brands like to do that type of thing. So yeah, for their first official ever collab, they collabed with Umbro. And yeah, in week seven of Palace's winter 2022 collection, they're making a comeback. We're getting another collaboration. Now, knowing the brand, I feel like this is going to have a lot of soccer influence stuff, a lot of sports influence stuff. Hopefully there'll be something here that'll pique my interest, but there's not a lot of sportswear these days that really speaks to me. Um, but regardless, we're going to cover everything to do with this collab. Release details, individual pieces, the editorial, so skaters or models rocking the pieces, and my thoughts and opinions on the collab as a whole, and, well, the individual pieces as well. Uh, how we're going to cover all that is by using a hype article. We'll head on over there now start covering the release details for this week seven collab so here we are here guys here is the hype beast article and looking at the first image already <laughs> i've seen some sports jerseys or soccer jerseys more specifically so, well actually i'll just generically label it as sports i don't they're not necessarily soccer ones but i can see soccer players rocking something like this but yeah sports gear it was bound to happen with a Palace Umbro collaboration. But uh, anyway, we'll scroll on down, start covering those release details. So, collaborative Palace X Umbro drop takes place in Palace's seventh week of their winter 2022 season. I like that Hypebeast is adding that to their articles now. The launch is set for both in-store and online releases across the world, beginning in Europe on November 18th, which if you're looking at my watch, Wednesday the 16th, wait, yes, yes, if it's Wednesday the 16th, it could be Friday the 18th, that checks out, sorry, I was thinking about Supreme there for a second, yes, November 18th, 11am, I say British Standard Time is a more accurate time zone to use, you guys may use whatever, but I find 11am uh, BST is the best time zone to use. Following that, it'll get a US launch uh, on shelves at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Lastly, it'll be available in Japan on November 19th, the Saturday. Uh, 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time in uh, in Palace Japan's web store, and there are uh, in you know physical locations as well. It'll also see an official Palace underscore Skateboards WeChat store release November 19th, 11 a.m. for China, Chinese Standard Time. On November 19th. Um, there we go. So it's releasing on the Friday for most of the world on the UK online store, 11 a.m. British Standard Time. Then it's releasing in the US, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the US online store. Then on the Saturday, it's releasing 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time online and in store for Japan. And last but not least, 
11 a.m. Chinese Standard Time uh, on the WeChat store for China. Um, if you guys have any further questions or queries on when and where it's dropping, drop those comments in the comment section below or hit me up on Instagram and I'll try and help you out the best I can. But now that we have covered all the release details, we got to get into the pieces. Whoa, sorry, we got to get into the editorial and then we'll get into the pieces. Let's check out the editorial first. So some models slash skaters rocking the collab and see what we're going to be getting. Two people rocking the collab and is that a... I thought it was going to be a pair of collaborative sweatpants, but I think it's just a pair of pink sweatpants. We got the collaborative, I get, I called it a soccer jersey. I still feel like it's the most accurate sport that someone would rock something like this on, but you can definitely correct me if I'm wrong with this all over pattern print on it. With, of course, a triferg, an umbro branding, and a little bit of a hit on the sleeve there as well. Look, this isn't a silhouette that I would normally rock, so I'm not too wild about it, but how do I put it? The image, the look of these people, the outfits of these people. This is what I envision when I think of the UK. Maybe that's just because I've watched too much, I don't know, UK comedy or TV series as well. This is just like how they look. <laughs> but this, this to me looks like UK streetwear culture. Correct me if I'm wrong, people in the UK out there. Please tell me I'm wrong. Maybe I am completely wrong, but this is like fitting the exact description that I see when I think of it. <laughs> I don't know what you guys think of Australian streetwear culture, but this is how I envision the UK. That or like heaps of Gore-Tex, heaps of Arc'teryx, and um, yeah, all that stuff as well. But otherwise, this. <laughs> Moving forward. Ah, oh, look, see, that's, they're just stereotyping now. In a pub with some beers, playing some pool. I'm sorry, man. They, like, made this very, very UK from my perspective. <laughs> I can do any vision. There's going to be a shot where someone's drinking a beer and, like, it has one of the jerseys on, isn't it? Oh, I was so ready for that. I was so ready for the third image just to be some bloke drinking a beer wearing one of them. <laughs> uh, no, okay, new piece, new piece. We have got, it's like the, a mix between a jersey, but then like a spray jacket or like a, you know, like a track jacket in a way, you know, um, we get the matching shorts. I feel like the shorts are going to be a hit. I feel like a lot of people get around the shorts over the upper pieces. I definitely am more on that train. Uh, yeah, because the upper pieces, it's just not my aesthetic. It's just not my vibe. I love my Americana, love my denim, love my stuff like that. This, I don't know, not for me. But there we go. In front of a pub is what well. I mean. I assume behind him is a pub. This has this looks like a pub. It has to be a pub, right? Oh, I'm still so ready. I don't know why I have this feeling that I'm gonna see someone drinking a beer having this. Oh, there we go. This is actually really good. I I was wondering what the design was on the little strips that we saw on the. Uh, sports jerseys and now this it's the palace p like um i i, I don't want to say fading but i guess like speeding kind of like the goodfellas logo in a way uh across okay that's kind of cool i like it on the shorts i think the shorts are like my favorite piece that i've seen so far it screams you know palace and umbro and enough so but not too much so and I think I'd, yeah, I think I could see myself wearing the shorts, like playing some casual basketball with mates or just like going for a walk or whatever. I'm obsessed with this dude. <laughs> same, same pick, same pick. We've only got two more images. Okay. In front of a darts board. That's fair. This is another color of the uh, piece that we saw before. Uh, or maybe it's the same color. It does look a lot lighter though. It looks like more of a green instead of the blue that we saw before. Uh, there we go, but we get a close-up of the Palace P zooming along there, the all-over print there. It's just, it's not speaking to me too much, but I'm having too much fun with this editorial here. So we have one more image. What's the image going to be? Oh, no. oh, there we go. I got, I got my image. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, okay. To me, yeah, this looks uh, very UK. To me, I, I've personally never been, but from all the, you know, media that I've watched, everything that I've seen, this looks very much like the UK to me. And maybe that speaks wonders, wonders of what they've captured here, because maybe they've successfully done what they needed to do, and they've expressed two UK brands coming together. 
It's, I mean, I think it's done well. I think they've captured it. <laughs> I mean, they could have captured them all playing sports. This is literally a sports and skating brand coming together, but instead they'd use the editorial to capture them all, have it a pint, <laughs> at a pub. I mean, it's, yeah, it's just great. It's just, that's just, that's just the UK, eh? Um, there we go. We got the pink jersey being showcased. Oh, pink, um... Yeah, I should say pink jersey showcase to us. It looks like there's a red one. Uh, there's the green one. Um, there's the, again, it's either green or blue, but the lighting is just throwing me off here. We've got a purple one being showcased to us. There is the track, uh, track jacket with, I assume, the shorts down below there somewhere. It looks like we're getting some track. Oh, are they shorts? I think they're shorts. I kind of see them cutting off down here. So I guess those are shorts still. I thought we were going to get some track pants, which. That would have been like, if there's not track pants in this collab, I would actually be surprised because I kind of see that. I kind of see track pants kind of working in here. Um, we'll just have to see guys. Now that we've covered all the images of the editorial, let's check out the rest of the images now and see those individual pieces. Here we are. Here is the, again, I was struggling to put like words on what kind of silhouette it is, but it looks like a track jacket mixed with a a, a soccer jersey like lit, literally if you cut exactly where that line is right here the bottom half looks like a track jacket slash crew neck slash spray jacket type beat and then the top half where the light blue is literally looks like a soccer jersey or sports jersey so it's kind of cool it, they've like meshed them together and it actually works quite well um but it's nothing too crazy it's not like wow this is insane this is just like it's done well it's done it's it's got both um it's got the feeling of both brands in in it here and i i like that ah oh. like palace has been listening where i said stop chucking huge logos on the back they stop chucking huge logos on the back thank you this is a way better piece without a huge logo on the back of it it's much nicer just having this that's the way to go that's the way to go okay here's the shorts i actually don't mind these these are all right bit short on the uh on the inseam here that looks like, like a five inch inseam there a little bit small um yeah but you know sports shorts they are a little bit shorter so yeah i see it i see it like the strip down the sides the co-branding's nice simple simple ah oh, thank god nothing on the back keeping it easy keeping it easy Oof. okay we got the we got the purple going on very very bright I'm not feeling these at all, really. I just, I wouldn't wear something like this. There's the red. Is the pink. Like blue, I think this is the blue that I saw, but I guess that looks more gray now, like bluey gray now that I see it. And then there's gonna be the green one, right? Yeah, yeah, so it was two different colors. I wasn't tripping. Oh, and that's it! Wow! I was so ready for so much more. I was ready for like some co-branded sports equipment, like a soccer ball or something. I was ready for like track pants, more track suits. I'm surprised they didn't even do like a crew neck or a hoodie here. I, I actually am surprised. I was ready for like a crew neck or a hoodie here. They kept it very small. Okay, lots and lots of sports jerseys. So, it, you know, like as I'm saying, it does fit into the, uh, you know, the Umbro, uh, you know, uh, I, I guess aesthetic there. But yeah, I was expecting a lot more. Kind of bummed out. I feel like if they were going to do something like this, they should have gone crazy. They should have done a lot. But yeah, okay. Well, in all honesty, none of this is for me. I wouldn't be wearing any of this, but it feels very authentically palace. And maybe that's just because of the editorial. Look, maybe it's just because they were all sinking beers at the pub. And I was like, you know what? This feels like palace. <laughs> like, I don't know. It, it, it does. It does. Maybe, yeah. I think maybe I am warm to this because the editorial felt very genuine. But yeah, there's nothing from this collab that I would wear. Um, but I could definitely see a lot of fellas getting around it. If uh, bloke core was more than just a meme, well, for you hardcore bloke core fans out there, I'm sure you're frothing at the mouth of it as collab. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for me, 
I'm all right, man. I'm going to stick to my own lane and keep going down that lane. But uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. How do you feel about this Week 7 collab? Is it, a, is it a yes for you? Is it a no for you? Let me know down in that comment section below. Well, there we go, guys. That is everything covered between the Palace and Umbro collab for Week 7 of the Winter 2022 season. Uh, we covered the release details. It's dropping this Friday or Saturday, depending on your region. Uh, we covered the editorial, the individual pieces, and my thoughts and opinions on everything. It's kind of a bummer that they didn't do more. I kind of was hoping for more. I was hoping for, you know, a tracksuit, like a full tracksuit, track pants, maybe a hoodie or crew neck, maybe a tee. They definitely went the more sportswear route, but I suppose that is more true to Umbro as a brand. So, okay. If we had to be true to that, then maybe some sportswear, like a soccer ball or something. That That's reasonable, right? That's a reasonable request. Um, yeah. Oh, well, it is what it is. Cool to see them collaborate again. Uh, we'll be recovering this when I do the drop list video for week seven. So stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, that's really everything to discuss about it, though, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it, though, if you're going to be picking any of it up or not. If you are going to be picking some of it up, let me know what you're going to be picking up down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want to keep covering upcoming Palace releases, collabs, all that good stuff, you've got to give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned in the previous upload, I'm trying to hit the new subscriber milestone of 3,495 subscribers before the end of November. We are less than five subs away. We're also less than 10 subs away from hitting another milestone, but I don't want to keep hyping that one up. <laughs> we got to hit three, four, nine, five before we hit that one. So hopefully, you know, you tell a couple mates, they tell a couple mates, you know, we share it around a little bit. I think we can hit three, four, nine, five before the end of the month. Oh, that's everything I got to say about the collab. I wish you the best of luck if you are going for something this week. I hope you managed to pick it up in size and color you are after. But until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Palace video, until the next Droplist video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.